What's going on guys? It's your boy Devin or Seven back with a brand new YouTube video. I know I haven't been uploading for like three months. And I know. You guys want to see more videos from me. And I'm gonna pull out some more videos for you guys. I just had to take a little break. School's in the way. Today's video I'm even gonna be showing you guys another Photoshop tutorial. If you guys wanna see more of my Photoshop tutorials, I'll leave a playlist down below. If you guys wanna see my recent video on showing you how you guys can make a very cool game logo. Also in the link description down below, or we're just gonna wait at the end of the annotation of the video. Today's video, I am gonna be showing you how to make a very cool gradient style, and also how to add a custom gradient styles that I also have over here on the right. So now, right now, we're gonna open up a new image, and I have this this default image I'm gonna be working on. I'm using a 1280 by 720, and yeah. So right now, we're gonna go ahead and press the on our keyboard and then click anywhere on the on the image and then we'll have this um, text box we're gonna go ahead and name our text text because we're gonna use it for the example all right control T when we're gonna go ahead and make this bigger so I can have a better example for you guys okay so for you guys to for, for you guys to start we're gonna go ahead and have this text make sure to click on the text layer Right click it, go to Retroize Type, hold Control on your keyboard, and go to the thumbnail over here as the text of the layer style. And you guys will have these ants trailing around your guys' text. <clears throat> around your guys' text. So now you guys have done that, press G on your keyboard, and you guys will have the gradient toolbox. Uh, usually, you guys will have the paint box bucket. Uh, you guys will need the gradient tool make sure to right click on that and for you guys to make a default make sure to click on any preset and then click on the gradient you want you guys to be working on so I'm gonna work on the black because the black one is more easier so make sure that opacity on the stops is um, 100 and the color change it to a any color right now we're gonna be, I'm gonna be showing you how you guys make like a very like any any color gradient Go ahead and make this 100 also. Alright, make this a dark. Oh, wait, no, I gotta make this light. Alright. So, you, the color you want to want is any color you guys may be working on. The color you have is light on one side. On the, the other color that you want to have is dark on one side, but the same color you, you are working on. So now you guys have done that. Go ahead and hold left click and then drag the line down to the middle of the text. And you guys will have your guys' color font right here. And yeah, you guys can transform it too. And it won't mess up. So now you guys have your guys' very cool gradient style. You guys can also save your guys' gradient style. By going to save and new and you guys can save it so you guys don't have to keep recreating this all the time and now i am going to be showing you how you guys can add custom ones just like this one over here how to add your guys this own custom one when it's already made i uploaded a psd file i'll leave the link down in the description down below for you guys so you guys can download it uh it has all these cool layer styles for you guys to pick from um Make sure to go ahead and download this right now. And then. So if you guys want to learn how to download one of these styles. Go ahead and press T on your keyboard. And then click on the font you guys want. So I'm going to go ahead and pick one that I don't have. Uh, let's go ahead and pick the blue one right here. So I clicked on the blue one. I'm going to go ahead and click on the copy. I'm going to go ahead and click on the layer. Once I clicked on the layer. It's gonna say text. And I go over here to make and create it as our, my new style. You guys can go on and have these check marks, boxes uh, marked and name it whatever you guys want and I'm gonna press OK. Now we have it saved. For you for for you guys to like save them, usually it's in the adjustments uh, tab, but you guys wanna move over to the styles tab and you guys will have this. Now we're gonna move over to our text and we're gonna go ahead and make sure that we are clicked on our text layer and then click on the layers we want we have this blue layer 
uh, we're gonna we can also click on the green one that we want we can click on random ones that we downloaded and yes they do save on your PSD file and they'll, they'll stay there forever so yeah if you guys like Teddy's video make sure to leave a thumbs up let's see if we can smash five or ten likes uh, I'll be uploading a new video next week if you guys want to see more make sure to subscribe because I do upload every week and thanks for watching today's video guys this has been your boy Devin7 and I'm out. Peace out.